And welcome everybody to another edition of the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. As always, I'm your host Kenneth Grunfelder and it's great to have you guys here on this Tuesday, June 11th. We have a lot to talk about on the show today. Before I get into that, just want to remind you guys, as always, to tip or donate, get your comments recognized, make sure to go to the following link, that is gsmcpodcast.net. Again, that really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. Again, that is gsmcpodcast.net. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker at the bottom of the show segment down below. So, let's get into what we are going to talk about today. So, we're going to start off the show talking about Mike Tomlin, the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers, getting a new contract extension. And I'll talk about that, what that means for the Pittsburgh Steelers moving forward. And then when we go to the second part of the show, I'll continue my schedule breakdown. So yesterday we did the Rams schedule. Uh, today we will be doing the Seahawks schedule. So I'll go through their schedule and give you my early win-loss prediction for them. Then in the third part of the show, we'll talk about some comments made by running back Damian Harris, uh, who recently retired. He'll, he kind of criticized Bill Belichick and kind of blamed him for Mac Jones' decline. So I wanted to get into that and give my thoughts. And then the fourth part of the show, we will talk about the Eagles, Jalen Hurts, his recent comments on the offense, how it's pretty much a completely different offense. So we'll talk about that. And then in the final part of the show, I'll talk about the Raiders' backfield. Uh, with Zamir White and Alexander Madison, they're taking over for Josh Jacobs, of course, who left in free uh, to go sign with the Packers in free agency. So I just wanted to talk about that as well. So a variety of different topics today. So hopefully uh, you guys will stick around for the full show. So let's get into the first topic, talking about Mike Tomlin getting a new contract extension. And this will actually take him through, I think it's, yeah, the extension lasts through the 2027 season and right now with bill belichick not getting a job well and leave well not really that but leaving new england uh he is the longest tenured active coach in the nfl never ha he has never finished with a losing record in 17 seasons he has seven afc north titles 11 playoff bids and two super bowl appearances and he won the one uh back against the cardinals in 2008 and 2023 was an interesting year because the Steelers it was it was a roller coaster. I think they were they were 7 and 4 at one point. And then Kenny Pickett gets hurt, Mitchell Trubisky comes in, did not play well, and it looked like the Steelers were going to end up missing the playoffs because they lost to the Patriots and the Cardinals and those two teams finished with bad records. You know, the Patriots had the third pick and the Cardinals had the I think they had the fourth pick. In the draft. So, yeah, they lost those back to back games. Two teams that finished in last place. And, you know, there was a lot of conversations about, well, could this be it for Mike Tomlin? And then he made the quarterback change. He puts in Mason Rudolph. They win that game against the Bengals. Then they win in Seattle. And then they win on the road against the Ravens. Now, the Ravens had their backups in. They ended up making the playoffs at 10 and 7. And this is with all the issues that they had at quarterback. And they were still able to make it. Now, they they definitely got some help, of course. I mean, you had guys like Joe Burrow ended up getting hurt. So the Bengals missed the playoffs. I think if Burrow doesn't get hurt, the Bengals get in. The Steelers probably don't. But give the Steelers credit. They were able to make it. Now, this is... So I, I don't want to, you know, rain on this parade, but... I'm going to because I've talked about the Steelers a lot and I've brought up how they haven't won a playoff game since tw the 2016-2017 season when they won that game in Arrowhead and Chris Boswell kicked six field goals. It's been a long time and for a lot of Steelers fans, I, I think it's definitely – you, you got – People in one camp that are like, this is great, we still got Tomlin, and then you got people in the other camp saying, we got to go in a different direction because we're doing the same thing over and over again. 
yes, Mike Tomlin has never finished with a losing season. But since they won their last playoff game, I mean, yeah, the, the, they don't really have anything to show for it. I mean, they have made the playoffs. You know, they like I said, they made it this past season. But they did lose to the Bills, who are a better team. Then Ben Roethlisberger's last season. They went 9-8 and eight the previous year, but missed the playoffs. But then Ben Roethlisberger, his last season, they went up against the Chiefs, and the Chiefs were the much better team. They made it as the last wild card team. They made it as the seventh seed. 2020, they were down 28 to nothing at the end of the first quarter against the Browns, a team that they own. And, yeah, it's just, it's been disappointing. And they're looking to flip the script and make the playoffs finally, but... It's been a long time, and I just, I wanted to bring, well, a couple things. Something that's incredible is the fact that the Steelers have had only three head coaches in the last 55 years. Chuck Knoll from 1969 to 1991, then Bill Cower from 92 to 2006, and then Mike Tomlin took over from 2007 to the present. That's unbelievable. I mean, it's kind of like the Packers with their three starting quarterbacks since, you know, the 90s. With Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers, and now you got Jordan Love. I mean, this is a lot longer. 55 years. I mean, you only had three head coaches. And then the other thing, too, is the Steelers have had three coaches in the last 55 years. This is, this is credit to uh, CBS's Instagram account. So the Steelers have had three head coaches in the last 55 years. The Panthers have had five head coaches in the last two years. I mean, that, that's, that's incredible. Now, the other thing I wanted to bring up is um, one of my friends, they sent a tweet. And these are the, I think it's 27 head coaches have won a playoff game since Mike Tomlin last one a playoff game you had guys like Doug Marone Dan Quinn Sean Payton Doug Peterson Bill Belichick Mike Zimmer Chuck Pagano Anthony Lynn actually hold on I gotta go, I gotta go back to the tweet if I can scroll up because part of it got cut off because I because I took a screenshot of it yeah so 27 head coaches have won a playoff game more recently than Mike Tomlin yeah so Chuck Pagano Jason Garrett Anthony Lynn, Andy Reid, Sean McVay, Pete Carroll, Mike Vrabel, Bill O'Brien, Matt LaFleur, Kyle Shanahan, Sean McDermott, Kevin Stefanski, Bruce Arians, uh, Mike McCarthy, Brian Dable, Nick Sirianni, Todd Bowles, Dan Campbell, Zach Taylor. Yeah, I, I mean, Mike Tomlin's got to win a playoff game. He has to. Now, I was watching uh, the, Rich Eisen, the Rich Eisen show. And they do their overreaction Monday. And they did bring up the Mike Tomlin extension. And they were talking about, will Mike Tomlin make it to the end of that extension? And they brought up Bill Belichick and how, yeah, I mean, Belichick was there forever. And then finally it got stale towards the end and he was out. I, I mean, I think... Because the Steelers don't typically get rid of people in season and I feel like they're with Mike Tomlin like yes they finally let go of Matt Canada but Mike Tomlin I think they're going to give him his respect and he's going to at least get through this next extension I don't think they're just going to let him go unless the Steelers just are awful during this time but I yeah I, I think Tomlin will make it through the extension but this is a big year gotta win a playoff game I think the Steelers have a good team it's just they play in a tough division and I think if you're ranking the quarterbacks although they did change their quarterback room I'd still probably rank them last in the division and Deshaun Watt I, I like I'd rank Lamar Jackson and Burrow at the top then you got Deshaun Watson who has struggled since he's 
since he got traded to the Browns, and you got Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. I'd probably still rank Deshaun Watson ahead of them. But they're neck and neck. But they have a very good defense, and, you know, they address the offensive line. They have a good running game. They do have good weapons. But... You know, they've had this good defense for a while. It's just they, they have not been able to win a playoff game. So we got to see. It's going to come down to the quarterback play. How is Russell Wilson going to play or Justin Fields? I mean, Russell Wilson's going to at least start the year. So, But they just they play in a tough conference. So we'll see what happens. But, again, it's very it's very divided. I feel like you have people on one side, like I said, they like this. And then you have people on another side saying they don't like this. So, but yeah, I, I think it's, it's time. Like, it's incredible that Mike Tomlin has not finished with a losing season, but we got to see more results. We got to see some playoff wins here because it's been a long time. And I know I, I've brought that up a lot. And even if like, let's say... He doesn't make it through this extension, and he ends up being let go. Another team's going to pick him up immediately. Just saying. But let me know what you guys think about the Mike Tomlin extension, and what are your expectations for the Steelers going into 2024? So, we're going to take our first break of the show, and when we come back, We'll talk about the Seahawks. We'll break down their schedule. I'll give you my early win-loss predictions for them. And that is what we will do when we come back from our first break. So with that being said, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. 